Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So in today's video, we're going to actually go over AS Suzette with her manifest weapon, and we'll uh, do a little bit of gameplay as well as a five-star review. Now, the most important question of all is, is she hot or not? Oh, my waifu is really cute now that she's wearing a nice kimono. Will, remember your real wife. Okay, okay. Anyways, uh, with her Chaotic Dark Blossom, that gold weapon, uh, she's pretty good now. She still has very similar attack stats and defense stats to her OG version, although she is a little bit uh, weaker in the defense mark as well as a little bit slower as well. That being said, you can see her Valor Chant, which is Power of User plus 35 cent for 3 turns. So only boosts herself, much less effective than her OG version. So you can see the 3 moves we're going with. Uh, her only AoE at this point as a 5 star is the Jet Black Thrust, which is the 4 star version of the Demonic Thrust. So remember we lose OG version's 5 star moves. Um, it is non-elemental AoE that applies poison, however it's not guaranteed like the 5 star version with Manifest. Now in terms of her two uh, upgraded AS moves, the first one is the Exclusive Blossom, and this is one you're now going to be able to spam during AF. So look at the enhancements. Instead of just doing a single attack, uh, single target DPS XL, and it consumes all spirit petals, during the AF, those stacks of spirit petals are not consumed. So that means you can spam over and over and over again, and each spirit petal accounts for one attack. So she can get a total of three, which means she can do four attacks back to back to back to back, quad hits over and over again, and physical resistance um, down 30% for stackable three turns. So 60% uh, increased, uh, decreased physical resistance. Really helpful for your win team. Now the other move is the Elegant Cavort, and this one is the one that stacks pedals. Now, also it's been enhanced. Not only does it increase the critical damage for her, um, you know, for two turns, it also stacks two pedals at a time instead of one. Remember that normally you would have to have a critical hit to stack two pedals. Now, if you do a critical hit in the first turn, you'll essentially have all three and you'll have a first turn set up for, um, you know, turn two AF or even during the AF, you only have to hit Elegant Cavort once if you crit. And so, like I said, very powerful. She actually, um, we'll do a damage uh, comparison between OG versus AS. So uh, you can see her five star moves here and we'll just show the board here. Now keep in mind, if you do have both as a 5 star, you do enhance each other. So in the case of OG enhancing the AS version, speed plus 5%. That being said, if you notice, I did um, equip a speed grass to allow for more attacks during the AF. Here's her grass to set up. Now bear in mind that I still don't have Felmina OG, and so we are going with pure elemental grass to at this point. If we ever do get Felmina, then I can put some pain or poison grass to on her. So let's take her off for a spin. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I also do have a pay, uh, Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. Okay, so we're going to go in the Earth part of Purgatory, which is obviously we uh, wreck havoc using Wind Attack. So first of all, um, you can see that uh, the non-elemental damage is still very potent at a 4-star. And even though she's only single target DPS, she can't handle mobs quite as easily. But let's be honest. Suzette is very powerful and can handle most mobs with ease. And let's be honest, she is my waifu, so, you know, I am loyal to her while doing gameplay anyways. Okay, so let's start with the Elgin Cavort. And so you can see there's two stacks right off the bat. Crit damage increased by 30%. Now bear in mind that she's not guaranteed crit, so you do want to crit uh, setter on your team. So Dunareth or um, uh, any other sort of uh, critical... Um, setters to guarantee crit rate 100% will really enhance AS Suzette. Okay, so against some of the more, uh, some of the horrors in the game, we'll do two turns of Elegant Cavort and get the three stacks max. So even though it's two at a time, you can only get three. And let's just activate a half AF bar. So right there, four hits, um, physical resistance down, and then he's dead. So, you know, just by herself, one person, instantly 600k, no problem at all. She is awesome, and let's be honest, with her gold weapon, she looks sweet as well. I really do like the contrast between uh, her AS style and her um, OG look. So, um, you know, both of them do have their uses. Now, let's compare the damage uh, between the OG versus the AS against our favorite teacher, Serene. 
I mean, she's usually here to teach us a lesson, but we're going to teach her a lesson in return. So note that I am using Renry AS. Um, Serene is weak to fire as well, so it won't really be a problem with us doing a first turn um, AF. And we're going to do the uh, Blazing Dance Expurning so we can get guaranteed crits for everyone on our team. We'll also apply Culmination Winds. Stormbite, remember that with OG uh, Claude, we do Piercing Resistance down, which also enhances AS to that. So look at all those hits. Multi hundreds of thousands times four. And then there you go, million times four. 1.44 times four. She is really stacking on the damage and very, very lethal. Keep in mind that because um, Serene has an HP stopper, we can really demonstrate the power of um, ASZ. That's 2 million times 4. That's 8 million on her own in the final round. 38 million. Bear in mind, I don't even have Pain and Poison Grasta. We don't have Felmina. We don't have AS Vena. Just by that, there's no zone. Okay, and we're doing that much of damage. So, very, very powerful. Okay, so let's compare her to my OG wife, uh, Suzette. And here we go, we're going to do the same move, first turn AF, same setup, uh, combination wins, Stormbite over and over again. And remember that again, Stormbite still enhances OG Suzette being that she's still pierced. I do think that um, Claude will have much use when we do get AF foreign as a pierce So, Okay, so you can see our damage is uh, quite a bit less, we don't see any millions. Um, we do see millions well, obviously with AF Renry, but in terms of OG Suzette, she hits like, you know, with critical 1.8 times 2, so not bad, but we're not approaching the, um, you know, 2 million times 4. So right there, 20 something million, still a fair bit of difference in damage with uh, OG versus AS. Now one thing to keep in mind though, depending on the bosses, whether or not the boss has mobs, you might need OG Suzette to really clear the way because hers is an AoE attack versus AS Suzette, which is really all concentrated on single target DPS. So in conclusion, the Butterfly Warrior, again, her look is awesome, but in terms of her gameplay, hey, if you've got a single boss weak to wind and uses multi-hits, I would say she's one of the top current wind DPS in the game. I know that AS Shannon is still out there, you have AS Vayna, um, but she will definitely find her place on your wind team provided you don't have super top 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 wind DPS. Um, again, if you do have a Pain and Poison setter on your win team, then she will be even more enhanced with Pain and Poison Grasta. But as it stands, I really do um, you know, want to use her in future bosses. That being said, uh, when I do do, for example, Xeno Domain very hard runs, I actually still switch to OG Suzette. Same as when I do Garalia runs, you can choose either or, but if you want an easier handle mobs, then you're going to stick with the OG one. Thanks for watching! We'll see you next time.